Welcome to Basic Budgeting for Beginners, a seven-part video course. Part one of the course will be an introduction to budgeting. Part two will help you understand income and expenses. Part three will help you create your budget. Part four provides strategies for saving money. Part five will help deal with debt. Part six helps you monitor and adjust your budget. And part seven helps you think about long-term financial planning. Well, let's start by unraveling the concept of budgeting. Budgeting in its simplest form is about balancing your earnings with your spending. It's a roadmap of your financial journey, guiding you on how to allocate your resources wisely. Why is budgeting so crucial, you might ask? First and foremost, Budgeting gives you control over your money. It's like having a financial compass directing your money and telling it where to go rather than wondering where it went. Secondly, budgeting helps you focus on your financial goals. Whether you're saving for a dream vacation, a new car, or your retirement, budgeting can help you get there. Lastly, Budgeting prepares you for emergencies. Life is unpredictable and having a financial buffer can make all the difference when the unexpected happens. Understanding the basics of budgeting is the first step towards financial freedom. So you're ready to start managing your money. But where do you begin? The first step in budgeting is setting clear financial goals. It's like planting a flag at the summit of your financial mountain. This flag represents where you want to be financially in the future. There are three types of financial goals you might set. Short-term, mid-term, and long-term. Short-term goals, like saving for a vacation or paying off a small debt, can be accomplished within a year. Mid-term goals, such as saving for a down payment on a car or home, could take anywhere from one to five years. Lastly, long-term goals are the big ones. These might include saving for your children's education, planning for retirement, or paying off your mortgage. Remember, your goals are unique to you and your financial situation. They should be realistic, achievable, and most importantly, they should inspire you to take action. Setting clear financial goals gives your budget a purpose. Now that you have your financial goals in place, it's time to start the budgeting process. The budgeting process can be broken down into four simple, manageable steps. The first step involves tracking your income and expenses. This step is crucial because it gives you a clear view of how much money is coming in and where it's going out. Start by listing all your sources of income, such as your salary, freelance work, or any other side income. Then list all your fixed expenses like rent, utilities, and loan repayments and variable expenses like groceries, entertainment, and personal care. The second step is to categorize your spending. This means grouping your expenses into different categories. For instance, you can have categories like housing, transportation, groceries, entertainment, and savings. Categorizing your spending will help you see where most of your money is going and where you can cut back if necessary. The third step is setting spending limits for each category. This is where the real budgeting begins. Based on your income and expenses, decide how much you want to allocate to each category. Remember to be realistic and consider your financial goals. If you're trying to save for a vacation or pay off a debt, you might need to cut back on some categories to make room for savings. The final step is monitoring your budget regularly. 
This means checking your budget at least once a month to see if you're staying on track. This step is important because it allows you to adjust your budget as necessary if you find that you're spending too much in one category or not enough in another, you can adjust your budget accordingly. Remember, a budget is not a restriction on your spending, but a plan for how you choose to spend your money. It's a tool that helps you achieve your financial goals and live within your means. So, embrace the budgeting process and take control of your financial future. So to recap, budgeting is an essential tool for managing your finances effectively. It's more than just jotting down your income and expenses. It's about setting a direction for your money and making it work for you. It's about planning, discipline, and understanding where your money goes. Remember the significance of setting financial goals. These are the markers that will guide your financial decisions and help you stay focused. Whether it's saving for a rainy day, planning for retirement, or wanting to go on a vacation, your goals are the backbone of your budgeting process. And speaking of the budgeting process, remember our step-by-step -step guide. It's not a rigid set of rules, but a flexible guide to help you navigate your financial journey. It starts with tracking your income and expenses, then adjusting your spending habits, and finally reviewing and refining your budget regularly. With these simple steps, you can start to take control of your finances and work towards achieving your financial goals.